Hello, my name is Scott Perry. I'm a professional magician, and this is a magic review. It's a kind of magic. In today's review, we're looking at Easy Money by Spencer Kennard and also Murphy's Magic Supplies. Uh, so the too long didn't read or didn't watch on this review is, uh, I think for the most part, for most people, this is a waste of money. Uh, Spencer actually says at the very beginning of the uh, tutorial video that this was born out of curiosity. And I think while the idea is really good, I think the execution is not very well uh, done at all. And I think that most people won't even be able to use this because of the way it's made. So with that in mind, let's get into the actual review. What is easy money? Well, easy money is basically a way to essentially, um, you know, have your hands like this or in any kind of situation, be able to produce a wallet, uh, a very realistic looking wallet. Uh, it's uh, basically a, a spongy, spongy soft faux leather wallet and it has the compartments that, that make it look quite authentic in a close-up situation. It has two pieces of uh, specific foam, uh, one piece here and then one piece here. And it's just, yeah, it's just a very soft, squishy wallet. So that's, that's what easy money is. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a gimmick as such. It doesn't do anything. Uh, it's just uh, how you use it. And uh, like I said in the TLDR, that uh, the, the idea is really good and the principle is really good but the, the execution is not very good at all. That explanation partly covers what you receive with Easy Money. Obviously, you receive this wallet. It comes in this, uh, this quite sturdy box. Inside the box, there is a, on the, on the roof of the box lid, is a URL to the tutorial instructions, and that's hosted on the Murphy's Magic website. It's password protected, like most uh, downloads these days. And also it's nice that you, they do give you the option to actually physically download the video so that you can keep it and you don't have to go back to the Murphy's Magic website every time that you want to maybe have a look at something that they mentioned in the tutorial. The tutorial is done by, uh, I believe his name's Javier from Murphy's Magic. It's about an hour long of instruction. It has uh, very little of Spencer Kennard. It has a little bit of talking at the beginning, a little bit at the end. And then Javier basically takes you through everything. I don't know if that's because of the pandemic or because Spencer didn't want to do the instructions. I don't know the reasons for this. It would have been nice if Spencer, the creator, had actually um, you know, done the instructions and, and a lot of the performing and, and explaining of Easy Money. But nonetheless, Javier does a great job at explaining everything in, in really good detail throughout the hour of the instructions. And that's pretty much what you receive with easy money. How easy is easy money? Uh, it is very easy, but here's where we're going to come into one of the issues with easy money. So the, the point of easy money is to like somehow in, in lots of different ways, uh, produce a wallet where it wouldn't be possible to produce a wallet. And the reason why I say is this is because we come into one of the first problems is because I don't, I don't think I have particularly small hands. I don't have large hands either, but I can't fit this in my hand. Um, it's quite big. I can't, I can't close my hand around it. Uh, I can't, um, you know, I can't palm this in any way. I think because it, it can't compress enough, and because it is too large for my hands to be able to, to conceal, I may well be better off just Tenkai palming an actual wallet. And then I can just produce that. Uh, so I don't know. I, th I think for the majority of people, this, this is, is just, uh, it, it doesn't compress enough. It's too large and it's not going to work for the majority of people and the majority of hand sizes, unfortunately, because the idea is really good. So to answer the, the question of how easy it is, I mean, it's, it's very easy. You literally have this, you know, scrunched up in your hand. And then the, the, classic, uh, the classic performance of this is where 
I, I forget the guy's name, uh, I'm sorry, but they do mention it in the tutorial. The original version of this was made out of sponge, but it was only performed on stage because the, the sponge wallet wasn't very convincing. However, this is quite convincing. But the original routine would be where the magician points his finger and then pretends to steal or pickpocket the person's wallet that he has up on stage and everyone in the audience you know laughs because he, the magician's taken his wallet which is is great and you know entertaining and that's that's fun this is supposed to be for close up and i just this is going to take up an entire pocket by the way uh, it's not that soft i think that they could have found a better uh, a better sponge to go inside but they say that they tested lots and they say that this is the best one that they could find um, so yes the the to answer the main question here how, how easy it is how easy is it is very easy but you just need really large hands that's all if you have really big hands then then great I'm happy for you you can use this to its full potential but if you're a regular person with normal sized hands you're not going to be able to use this. Like I say, you may as well just tenkai palm or, or, or you know, have, have a, an actual wallet in gambler's cop or something and then just produce an actual wallet. That is probably going to be easier and more effective. That brings us on to the reset time of easy money. Uh, instant reset. It's a sponge wallet. You know, you, you, you scrunch it up, you produce it. And then you you scrunch it up and put it back in your pocket again. There's a few different ways that they teach you on the tutorial video of uh, folding this, uh, which are quite neat and helpful. But it doesn't take any reset time at all. It's not a gimmick as such, like I said in the beginning. That brings us to the angles of Easy Money. Uh, like I've said, if you have really big hands and you can conceal this in your in your hand then the angles are pretty good. If you are like myself with normal sized hands, the angles are actually pretty bad. Uh, you know, in a real world situation, like I say at the beginning of every one of my reviews, I'm a professional magician. I perform in real world situations, in, in cocktail receptions, at dinners, it, you know, at intimate dinners, at, at lunches. Uh, you know, it's, it's not feasible to, to hold this in my hand and not have someone who's taller than me and can see it, or at the side of me, or standing, you know, over me. It's just that the angles for me, for my hand size, uh, and what I would say for any normal hand size, would be that the angles are are pretty pretty bad. Uh, not to say that you couldn't get away with it in in a close up situation or or table hopping, but it you know you you're definitely going to flash. To, to, you know, let's say you're entertaining a table of eight or ten people, you're definitely going to flash to a couple of people. Uh, I, I, I think, in my opinion, based on ten years of, of, well, over ten years of experience of performing as a professional magician. So, yeah, I, I don't think the angles are very good for it unless you have uh, very large hands. Pocket space, we've touched on a little bit, it, it's going to take up basically an entire pocket. I think they could have made the wallet uh, both a little bit a little bit thinner and I also think that they could have made the wallet a little bit smaller. It, I don't think it needed to be quite this large and because of that uh, it's a bit of an issue because for what this does and for, for it essentially being a little bit of a joke uh, you can do magic tricks with it, you can do routines with it, and they do teach you a couple on the tutorial video. But, you know, I, I think that you would be, if, you, if you're going to take something with you to, to a gig, or, or even just to perform for your friends at the pub, or, or wh wherever you may be, if it's a casual situation or a professional situation, if you're going to take something that takes up an entire pocket, uh, it's probably not going to be this. It's going to be something that's more versatile, that's more useful, that can do more than one thing. So, yes, that's the pocket space situation. It will take up an entire pocket. It's not that compressible. You will feel it in your pocket. It will bulge in your pocket. And if you have anything else in your pocket, you will you will look like you have you know an entire entire bag of tricks in your pocket. Now to touch on a couple of final thoughts. Uh, you know, I think I've I've 
touched on most of my thoughts throughout this review and, and the different points and elements of the review. Uh, you know, I think that the I think that the wallet could be thinner. I think that the, the the sponge pieces could be thinner. It is nice that in the instructions they do give you dimensions and specifications of the the foam pieces, just in case you do want to swap them out for your own. And you know, maybe you might know more about foam and this this kind of material, and you can find a better one. And then the wallet would be thinner. But uh, yeah, I, I think the size of the wallet. I think ev everything about the wallet. The, the only the only good thing I think about the wallet is that it, it does look kind of genuine. It does look like a real wallet. But everything else about it, I think, um, maybe has not been fully thought through. I think that, you know, Spencer had this idea. Uh, like I said, at, the, at the beginning of the review, he even says at the very beginning of the tutorial instructions that this was born out of curiosity and he made a couple of designs he showed his magician friends, his magician friends loved it, and then they've made a product from that. Murphy's say that they tested lots of different materials. I'm not so sure because, you know, Spencer says that he was the one who created a couple of the prototypes and then decided to make it a product. It's good if you have large hands, if you have normal hands, don't waste your money. Um, you know, buy something a lot better. Be, buy, buy a book, buy a gimmicked coin, buy a thumb tip. It's going to it's going to serve you a lot better than this. I do hope that they bring out um, you know an Easy Money 2.0 where they've maybe researched a little bit more about materials and hand sizes and things like this. And maybe even if they if they released different inserts. So a pack of like three different thicknesses of inserts for the for the sponge segments, just for different hand sizes. Because uh, I I'll probably never use this. I love the idea. I love the product. It's just not executed very well for for the majority of people, and it's not going to be very useful. Like I said at the beginning, I'd rather Tenkai Palm or Cop an actual wallet and then produce that. Uh, but yeah. That's, that's my review of Easy Money. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have any questions, leave them below this video. I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next review.